In this video, I'm gonna walk you through how you can stop Facebook spam messages. And if you follow these simple steps, you'll probably block about 90 to 95% of them. Now, if you're a business owner, and especially if you have employees, you're gonna to wanna to set this up. Or if you're an agency owner, you're gonna to wanna to set this up on behalf of all of your client pages. Um, this is actually something that I started setting up as part of my agency onboarding process. As an agency owner, I've seen a lot of different problems happen because of these Facebook spam messages. I have received text messages from my clients uh, over the weekend. Uh, some have texted me on Saturday or Sunday even asking me if their page is really going to be deleted. And I have actually had a client most recently who one of their employees clicked on a phishing link inside one of these spam messages. And it actually resulted in their Instagram page which had thousands of followers and existed for many, many years, the whole thing got deleted because of one of these spam messages. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure that if you're a business owner, you absolutely set this up, or if you're an agency owner, uh, you make sure that you do this for all of your clients. So first things first, this is fairly simple. Uh, Facebook, you go to the Facebook page, top right corner, you go to settings, settings and privacy, from settings and privacy underneath audience and visibility, you'll see followers and public content. You'll just scroll down to the bottom here and you're gonna see country restrictions. Now, most of these spam messages are coming from third and fourth world countries. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is select edit and you're gonna to wanna to make sure to show only to certain countries. I personally wouldn't recommend hiding from certain countries because you're going to have to enter a lot of countries here. So if you're in the United States or Canada or the United Kingdom, you're going to just want to uh, put the main countries here. So for some of the local businesses that I work with, um, some of them have tourists from different countries. So I put like the main countries, United States, Canada, United Kingdom, and so forth. That is your preference. Now, I just wanted to add, make sure you don't select hide from certain countries on accident and then put the United States because then none of your customers are going to be able to find your page. Also, a few other things uh, to note. If you set your country restrictions to the United States and somebody happens to be using a VPN that has their server outside the country, they might not be able to find or access your page. So just keep that in mind. And if you have a business, let's say a coaching or consulting company, or you have an international customer base, you're going to want to be careful which countries you select as you might be actually hurting uh, some of your business opportunity. Fairly simple process here. If you do have any other further questions, feel free to drop a comment below and I'd be happy to help. And I'll also have this simple ClickUp resource linked in the description with the step-by-step -step instructions. And if Facebook happens to change anything in the future, which they frequently do, I'll try to keep this document updated for you. And I also just have below here, uh, some examples of what those spam messages are. Chances are, if you're watching this video, you probably, probably already know what those messages are, but the most popular ones are, your Facebook page is gonna be unpublished or deleted or restricted, or you violated copyright rules or something like this. Now, I just wanted to add while we're on this topic of spam, now this doesn't have to do with spam messages. This is more spam comments. But in the section that I was walking you through before, if you are getting spam comments on your page, right above country restrictions, Facebook has this spot right here where you can add words, phrases, or emojis that you are frequently seeing on your Facebook uh, page as spam. Um, so let's just say a popular one is, I've seen people say, hey, I sent you a friend request. Um, you could add that right here. But I just wanted to mention, uh, if you do add a word right here and you try to comment with that word in the future, it'll actually block your comment as well. So just keep that in mind. Anyways, I hope this video helps. If you follow these simple steps, you'll block about 90 to 95% of your Facebook spam messages.